Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne and I will be reviewing the 2017 Terrifier. So the director is Damien Leon, Leon and it is based off of his 2011 horror short film, same name. I was able to find this on YouTube and I did end up watching it after watching the full length feature film and I still felt that it really was well made and I am really, really glad that he did decide to make a full length feature off of the short. So the movie is about Art the Clown, who is mute apparently. He follows around Tara and Dawn, two random girls for, for no specific reason. He does follow them and along the way terrorizes a lot of people, writes his name in poop and kills everyone in his path. I felt like this movie, with the timing, it kept it very engaging. There wasn't a lot of opportunity for you to kind of drift off and lose track of the story. It really kept everything moving. I also don't think that they wasted a lot of time on character subplots, which were kind of unnecessary. I knew going into this movie, I wanted to see a lot of action, I wanted to see a lot of killing, I wanted to see a lot of things. I didn't necessarily so much want a lot of backstory about Tara and Dawn, what they're doing on their night out, and I felt that the fact that the director didn't really push this really added to how much I enjoyed the movie. I felt it was very visceral, gory, violent, and a little suspenseful, which was nice. There were you know, some breaks between the gore and violence, which you do need. If it's just complete overkill, that gets really old really quick. And I felt there was a very good balance. So most of the story does take place in a mostly abandoned warehouse, housing something, and they really utilize the space well. A lot of it, you know, went different levels in the building most of it was in the basement it seemed like or in sort of a garage which i think might have been a different location and the beginning does start out mostly in a pizza shop where, where the poo part comes into play um i felt that the jump scares that were in it they did have a good payoff it wasn't just a jump scare to be a jump scare, which typically really pisses me off because I feel like that's the cheapest scare you can give. So I did appreciate that. My likes were the practical effects were awesome. They were so well done. You could really tell that someone took their time. They wanted things as realistic as they could make them and also really showing you as much as they could, you know, given the materials really really good super appreciate that love me some practical effects i was not disappointed in that the humor that was mixed in was a huge like of mine and it seemed like it wasn't you know every time there was something really violent happening they would feel like they had to put humor in to kind of lighten the mood and it wasn't like ha 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 humor it was mostly really dark humor which went really well with the theme of the movie and I love that. I love, you know, little genre mixing in there. And it also added to Art the Clown's character. Like I said, he doesn't talk. So him conveying humor in his movements or some of the things he does was really cool. Really, really liked that. I liked the methods that he used to dispatch some of the characters. You didn't see them coming. You have a formula if you watch a lot of horror movies how someone's going to kill someone else and when they throw a boomerang in there, it's really refreshing. It's very, very, very nice. You don't always want to see the same thing over and over and over again. Also, his weapon choice was really interesting. I noted in the short story, it's the same as the feature film. He has this kind of cat of nine tails with a scalpel there. It looks like surgical scissors, a bunch of other things that he's using to hit, you know, his victim. And I don't think I've seen that before. And I could kind of feel it. Like, you know what that feels like, the cutting sensation. And having that flying at you has got to be horrible. So good pick on that. He does carry around this huge trash bag full of God knows what, but it seems to be his kind of weapon hoard. The phones that he takes from his victims kind of throws in there too. So my dislikes, 
The one character, Dawn, played by Catherine Corcoran, I have her name written down, you are supposed to think she's super annoying, which she is, but I feel like she pushes it a little too far where you're like, okay, come on now, like, reel it back just a tiny bit. And also, my other dislike would be the supernatural element that they weaved in there. Honestly, I don't think it needed it. I think the story was so strong on its own, it didn't need that other element put in there. Not that it bothered me, I just felt like, you know, why add more stuff to it? But that was the director's choice, and I do respect it. So when I was searching for this movie, it was kind of difficult. Every time I'd put Terrifier into any search bar, All Hallows Eve would pop up. And I looked into a little bit, same director, it was released in 2013, and it is somehow related. It does look like it has, you know, Art the Clown in there as well. So I am looking to get uh, All Hallows Eve and then the sequel to that in my possession so I can review it. And if it's anything like Terrifier, the short, Terrifier, the full feature, I feel like I'm probably going to like it. So I'm pretty excited to have that in my possession ASAP. So I did find this movie on Amazon Prime streaming and I did buy it. So I couldn't really go back and look to see if there was a rent option, but there typically is. You don't necessarily have to always buy the movie unless you're me and you feel like you need to buy the movie. So I would rate this a four out of five. I thought it was awesome. I really, really enjoyed it. I have watched it twice so far. I do plan on forcing the groom of Reanimator to watch it as well as our neighbors because they have really good reactions to jump scares. And I feel like they would also appreciate the blend of the gore, the violence, the humor, everything in it. So please give this film a, a watch. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have watched it or if you're going to watch it, if you've watched the short, what did you think? What were your impressions of this movie? We'll chat. And if you could like the channel, subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment, hit the bell for more notifications so you can know when I upload all of my content. And I thank you very much. Have a good night.